Hot Now 948 on this Saturday morning. Carl Nelson's here from the Imagination Station, and you said this was going to be messy. I've already removed one piece of jewelry, yep. so what's happening? Well, we have a summer camp this summer called Super Splatter Science. It's all about getting messy okay. and the science behind it. So think water balloons filled with paint to talk about color mixing, ah. volcanoes that erupt to talk about chemistry. This is right up your alley then, huh? Exactly. It's really cool stuff. And so I brought a small version okay. of a, a really big thing they do during the camp called Ooblek. 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 And it, this is something you can do at home, because I know you like the activities you can do at yeah. home. Yeah. Right? So, oobleck is two cups of cornstarch. Okay. Yeah, you can see how it starts to get messy here. Yes. And then one cup of water. Easy enough. And so what I'm going to have you do is just go ahead and mix that up with your hands. Okay. Just dig right in there. Now, the neat thing Ooh. about oobleck. Oh, it feels so weird. Does it feel cool? Yeah. It's a liquid, but it also can behave like a solid. Yeah. Depending on how you apply force to it. Okay. Okay. And so if you're trying this at home, just keep mixing up with a little bit. You probably need a little more cornstarch okay. in there. Keep mixing keep it up. Mixing. Keep okay. mixing it up. And you just got to get the right sort of consistency so that I the... I can feel it starting to kind of ball up in my fingers and exactly. very sticky. So through here, through the magic of TV, I have a uh, pre-prepared bowl for ah. you there. This is a, right, a really nice consistency. Go ahead and pull out if you can. Oh, wow. See, it's really hard because you're yeah. applying a lot of force to it. Oh, but then it just... And then it starts to flow. Oh, okay. Pull your hands up so you can see that dripping action. That's really oh, cool. Oh, that's cool. So it flows like a liquid if you don't apply a force. It does, but then it feels like a solid it's when a solid. I have it gripped in my hands. Exactly. In fact, let me see if I can get, if you get a large amount of it out ball. here, and you can roll it around in your hand, and you can actually keep it flowing. This is where it gets messy. Okay. It can stay as a ball, but then if you let the force go, ah! it just flows like a liquid. <laughs> All right. That's awesome. And so oh, this is fun. One caution, if you're going to make oobleck at home, yes. don't pour it down the drain. Right, because that would then be... That's the called the plumber mm, experiment. Uh -huh. Okay. Now the, That's costly. <laughs> it is. Now, the neat thing about oh, this, this is, so cool. is that, again, if you apply a force, it gets hard. Mm -hmm. If this was a tray of water right. and I asked you to slap it really hard, you would probably laugh and say, I'm I not going to do that. I would not do that, Carl. But right now, go ahead and slap this. It's All right, if you step this way. Just bounce your hand right off it. Oh, wow. It doesn't splash. No, not at all. You apply that force and it just stays solid, but you could still reach in there and pick up oh, some drippy wow. that liquid. That is so neat. So it's a, it's a cool thing called a non-Newtonian uh, liquid. It hardens when you apply a shear force to it and it thins when you let it release the force. Hmm. Okay, Just the opposite of paint. And this is also, I mean, from cooking here, I mean, you, typically you might throw some cornstarch in maybe a soup or something to kind of thicken, thicken it, it up. up. Thicken it up, exactly, exactly. Okay. But there's some cool material science behind this because again, the opposite of oobleck would be paint, right? When you're painting a room, right. you want the paint to stay thick on the brush, mm -hmm. but flow like a liquid when you apply a force. Hmm. So it's like the anti oobleck Nice. So oobleck, anti oobleck Now, so if you were to leave something like this out for a while, It'll, would the water then just evaporate eventually and you'd just be left with a... Well, because it's a suspension of cornstarch uh, granules and water, mm -hmm. the cornstarch will settle down to the bottom and it'll turn into a, like a rock-hard okay. substance. Yeah. So if you're going to mix it up, play with it during the day, and then dispose of it in the garbage can. Trust me, I've left a little bit of cornstarch with some water in a bowl before. A little bit too long, and it, that's a tough one to clean. It's, it's a hard one to reuse, but nice. it's, it's a really cool thing. Again, wow. don't put it down the drain. Awesome. Okay, so <laughs> then when you mentioned uh, in the beginning, if someone wants to do this at home, you start with the... You start with two, two cups, cups. Two cups cornstarch. To one cup. About one cup. you got to kind of play with just it. Go just from get there. the right okay. consistency. Because I think the stuff you mixed up was a little bit too thin. And if you add a little bit more cornstarch, it gets a little bit thicker. Okay. It's, it's an experiment. Just play with it. Get the right consistency. You'll know when you get the right consistency. Because right. you tighten it up in your hand, it turns into a ball, and then it flows like a liquid. And this feels so strange on my hands. All right, Carl. Well, that was awesome. And you guys have a lot going down on at the Imagination Station. You guys are going a little bit country, right? We have Farm Fest going on. We have a pig. We have chickens. We have eggs. We have bunnies. Um, <laughs> all about the farm. So it's a lot of cool stuff. You can actually pet some of the animals. You can watch the pig. Um, cool activities. And today is Saturday, so Lucas County residents 12 and under get in free. That's right. And we cannot forget about all the dads out there because in honor of Father's, Father's Day, Day, tomorrow all the dads get in free Absolutely. if they come with a child, correct? Exactly. Wonderful. All right. Well, Carl, thanks so much for coming in and bringing your oobleck. <laughs> I had a lot of fun with this one. That's this week's Imagine It. Now let's go over and check in with Dave. He's got to check his sports.